How's it going everyone? I am done with rigging. So tomorrow all I got to do is launch and then we get to start fishing. No more procrastinating and waiting to rig whenever we get on the water. We've got the starting lineup. So from right to left here we go. This is a an old 18 Arius rod, seven foot long, light action. It's made it to a loose hyper mag. The lure that we're using, uh, I'm trying out some new jig heads. I hope I don't hook myself. Uh, this right here is a suicide shad from Big Bite Baits, very expensive. And then the hook that we're using is a Z-Man like finesse trout hook, something like that. It's got a very short uh, shank of a hook and then a very wide bend. All right, next up is a Luz uh, Custom Pro. It's a spinning reel, 1000 series, made it to an Arius. This is the uh, production model, old 18 Arius, uh, the MDLR edition, check that out. So if y'all wanna support me, these guys, I'm told, should be coming out in September timeframe. But uh, it's a seven foot long light action. And uh, actually this one's the, yeah, this is a seven foot light uh, spinning rod and We've got the Bugs Clickbait Shrimp right there. So that killed it the last time we went to Port O'Connor. Now we have the Mac Daddy. This is the Luz Pro TI. Man, that's one heck of an awesome reel. It's got four jacks, big, big jacks underneath its belt already. It's made it to an Arius Ultra Light Rod, seven foot long. And we've got a Bugs. It's a collaboration lure from Bugs Fishing and Cricket Custom Baits, I want to say. No, Cricket Custom Lures. So if y'all are interested in something like that, go ahead and go to that website. You can find them there. And I think you might be able to find them on Bugs' website if you want to support uh, two local lure companies. So back here on the single point hook, that's Bugs Rabbit Fur, classic rabbit fur. It works wonders. Uh, don't ask me how I know, just watch the videos and you will see all the big mud donkeys that we pull in the marsh system here in the greater Houston area. Next, we have the Suppressor Ultralight, a very worthy setup. Lose Custom Light, Ultralight Suppressor, seven foot long, 10 pound braid, and we've got the Down South Lure Burner Shad in color x on an owner three out hook 1 16th ounce weighted belly twist lock swim hook uh, there's a lot of grass out there so uh, when we get into the thick of the stuff i can throw that and not have to worry about getting snagged up into a lot of that grass and then last but not least this right here is a prototype old 18 areas uh, the ones that i have been testing before we made all the changes to go to the actual production model. Uh, but this is a worthy setup. It's a, a light action, seven foot long, uh, the MDLR edition again, and we got a custom light. I love these loose custom lights. They are super lightweight, very low profile. Palming it is easy, and it's basically an afterthought. They can cast like a dream too. So the lure that we've got it, uh, that's a, a flats bug in blue crab with a two inch little paddle tail. It's like a, a glow color. And normally the flats bug is a bottom bouncer, but uh, being that I put the paddle tail on there, I'm going to just swim it back. We'll see how that works out. That is the starting lineup. Let's get on the water.
this is where we get to push pole in. There we go. Got that rudder straight. Old Town, if you're listening, figure out a way to lock these things down so that our rudder stays straight and doesn't turn and do what it wants to do. That's a nuisance. All right, let's concentrate on catching some fish. One of the easiest boats to actually push pull, in my opinion. Super stable, nice and easy. So I guess we're gonna start out with, uh, let's start out with this guy right here. The Suicide Shed. Plus we get to try out the, uh, the new jig head as well. Let's load them up with some Pro Cure. Getting way too much grass on the cast, so we're going to go to the burner shad and uh, fish a more of like a, a weedless style. This should kind of help us to control how much of that stuff we're going to get on the hook. Oh, look at that. There's a, That's a red tail. All righty. Saw it. 100% ID. All right, slow our roll. I don't want to ruin this. He's got it. He's got it. Let's kill the motor. It was a school, like a small school of them. All right, we got to stake the kayak down. I don't want to keep going forward. Oh yeah. All right, let's grab the ego. Come here, little buddy. What a way to start the day. A small little undersized. I'll take it though. All right. Let's just put that right there. So one of your buddies gave y'all away. I don't know if you was the one that was tailing, but someone over there kind of gave y'all away. The swim hook they serve their purpose whenever there is a lot of grass you throw that swim hook and uh, the hook set isn't guaranteed because it's not exposed look at that nice um, it's not a guaranteed hook set because you gotta set the hook yourself but uh, it does guarantee that you're not gonna get a lot of grass that is gorgeous look at that tail such a gorgeous fish He's got those pretty colors, pretty enough to actually take a photo of. So here we go, Mr. Redfish, say hello. Let's let the fella go. Thanks, buddy. Oh my gosh, he like disappeared into the grass. A little submarine. Sweet, I didn't think this lure was gonna be able to survive. He's got one more small bit of plastic that he's hanging on by, and then we're gonna swap him out to put a new one on. Trying to catch as many reds as we possibly can with the same lure before going through it. That's the name of the game. Right there. Here we go. Got him. Thanks. Okay, we killed the motor. We're gonna stake ourselves out again. Crushing it today. All I'm seeing is the very top tip of their tail. You can tell, you can distinguish the orange from everything else. Although this does not look like a redfish though. Oh yeah, he is. I was like, he's a little bit silvery in color. Get out from under my boat, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a donkey. Let's get the ego, and we're gonna get the first donkey in the boat. Come on, baby. Get, oh my God, get over here. There you go. Oh my gosh, yes. First donkey of the day. Ah, uh, yeah, he's, he's for sure. I was gonna say, he's gonna be kinda close, but Definitely a 20-incher. 
Look at that. Look at that. That burner shad is destroyed. A very long and skinny one. Not bad at all. Beautiful redfish. Perfect for the frying pan too. He's 20, somewhere like 20, 20 and a half, something like that. Doesn't matter. It was just a spectacular fight. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for the fight. You got a lot of growing to do still too. Little fella. Let's keep cruising this flat and staring at all these little surface boils looking for the orange tail versus the mullet. Mullet will tail. I mean, I, I, I didn't think it was such a thing until I came out here to Port O'Connor and then you just realize that, oh gosh, there's a lot of tailing fish, but then it ends up being mullet. All right, we are set to go. I need to go online and actually take a look at owner's uh, inventory and see if they have, this is a 3 aught with a 1 16th ounce uh, weight and if they had a 2 aught it would be the perfect size for this but uh, plenty of hook to drive home in their mouth and that's been the issue that I've been having lately is setting that hook and losing fish so uh, just trying different styles out today we've just been lucky to fish <laughs> I'm not too sure. I, now that we're a little bit closer, it does not look like a redfish tail. It's probably sheep's head. If it's a red, we're going to get hit right about now. Nope, that's a sheep's head. We just spooked all of them. Oh, gosh. Look at the wake that they're pushing. Oh, my God. That is a lot of sheep's head. Yeah, spooked a whole mess of those fellas. Maybe we might be able to get lucky and uh, cast the sheep's head killer. Come here, sheep's head killer. Let's see if we can get them with this right here. That's what I should have cast first off. Before spooking every one of them. Oh, there they go right there. Look at that. They can't see me because I'm too low to the ground. Nope. Did not want it. Where are they? I'm trying to find some more. There goes one right in front of me. Holy moly. Oh, <laughs> spooked them. That was a redfish mixed in with them. Whew, my god, it is hot. It is extremely hot. All right, there goes some right over there. You can see the wake that they're kind of pushing. All right, the other battery just died, but we're, I got the uh, secondary camera right there. Look at that donkey. All right, buddy, thank you so much. And there he goes to fight another day. Red after red after red. We are just crushing it today. Talk about a very hot day out there on the water. Whenever the wind wasn't blowing, it was just downright brutal. Over 100 degrees. And uh, yes, you know you're in August whenever them dog days of summer have just set in. Like we have no happy medium. Y'all probably heard me say it a lot and over and over again. Uh, it was just it was crazy so had to get off the water a little bit earlier than what we normally do because uh, I just didn't want to become a heat casualty myself so I, I just told the other guys I was like yeah I'm, I'm done but uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do click that thumbs up button for those of y'all that would love to get in on some of that Port O'Connor action don't forget to hit up my boy David Trail Chaser is his YouTube channel uh, all his information is going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, he's running that guide service and very reasonable prices in comparison to other guide services that are out there. So definitely look him up. Don't forget to check out the video description for all the gear that I use. 
I've got a lot of unsung heroes down there. I may not talk about it all the time. I have been trying my very best to let y'all know what it is that I'm using, but man, oh man, it sounds like a broken record like most of the time. So uh, just know that if you're interested in anything, especially getting like 20% off on those old 18 rods of mine, uh, go down there, use the code MDLR20 whenever you click the link to go to Old 18 Outfitters, and that's going to get you that 20% discount. All right, so that is going to do it. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button. For those of y'all not subscribed to the channel, and you found your way here because of the Old Town Autopilot 136, at the end of this video, there's going to be a playlist. Uh, you can feel free to watch several of those videos, and if you end up liking them, I hope you subscribe to the channel because there's going to be quite a bit more content coming from that platform, and if you're curious to see what it can do here on the Texas Gulf Coast, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know when I drop those new videos. That is going to do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.